Hi everyone, I'm back and today I'm going to show you all how to make Cornish hens. Here's what you will need. You will need Cornish hens and today I have four Cornish hens that we're going to cook. Also, let's come over to, let's come over this way. All right, you will need two stalks of celery. You will need two limes. Let's get a good picture in on everything. There we go. You will need one large clove of garlic. You will need two sazon packets, rosemary you will need. You will need chicken broth, Maggie pollo, onion powder, parsley flakes, garlic powder, ground sage, herbs de Provence. You will need sea salt and chives. All right, and here's what I'm gonna do. I have this pan here, this aluminum pan. I'm gonna cook all four together in this pan, all right? Now, first thing that I wanna do, let's get right back to our sink, and I'm gonna show you how to clean these, okay? After we clean them, we'll get started on them. Let me get a good picture on these, and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Now let's go ahead and clean these. What I've done, I've already taken off around in this area. Let me show you what they look like first. They look like a really tiny chicken or a small turkey, see that? Now what I've done, I've went in and I've grabbed off all of the fat and things like that that we wanted to discard. I've done that already, okay? So now let's turn our water on. We're gonna make sure you turn cold water on, okay? And then we need to give them a really good rinse. All right? Rinse them well. And if there's any feathers or anything that you need to take off, at this time you can take a lighter and burn them off or just pull them off. All right? Give them a nice rinse, just like so. All right? And then we're going to go in with lime. You all that know me, you know I love to use lemon or lime to clean my meats with. All right, so today I'm gonna use lime and cold water. So here's what we do, guys. This is what I like to do. Let me turn my water off. I like to squeeze it on, just like so. And what I've done ahead of time to this lime, I've put it in the microwave for 10 seconds. And when you put it in the microwave for 10 seconds, it helps to release all of that juice out very easily. See this, look at all that juice. Okay, so then you squeeze the juice and you just kind of rub it, okay? And this is what I like to do. I like to get in every part of the crevices of the meat, whatever kind of meat it is. Just rub it just like so, okay? Now sometimes I use salt and vinegar with it. Today I'm just going to do lime and water, all right? Squeeze you some lime down in there. And also what will happen is you'll get some flavor also, okay? You just kind of do it just like so. All right, there's one. I'm gonna grab another piece of lime and I'm gonna go in on this one, okay? Same process, nothing hard about anything that I do in this kitchen, guys. Everything that I make is so easy and yet tastes so good. I'm so excited for this. I am so excited for this. So what we're going to do tonight is we're all going to get our own separate uh, Cornish hen on our plate. My husband can eat about three of these. <laughs> well, let's, let's just say two. You know, two will fill him up, but the third one he'll probably eat that night. <laughs> Absolutely. So, all right, I'm going to grab another piece of lime and we're going to go in on this one. Same process. I'm going to finish the other the other one I'm gonna put the video on pause and I'll be right back okay everyone I'm back now here's what I like to do we're gonna take that large garlic clove I chopped it up and put it in the bowl we're gonna make a nice herb oil that we're gonna rub all on the outside in the inside and under the skin to get it nice and moist and get those herbs going all through underneath the skin and in the cavity. And then I'm gonna show you how to season it up another way. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We have that garlic clove here. I'd like to put some parsley flakes in, all right? Just like this, no certain measurement, guys, seriously, okay? And we're gonna put some chives in. 
All right. I'm going to put Herbs de Provence in. If you don't have this, that's fine. All right. Here we go. And we're going to put some sea salt. Okay. And then we're going to go in. I need to chop up this rosemary okay you just kind of pull that rosemary off of the stems and then you're going to chop it up fine this rosemary you always want rosemary when you're making these cornish hens or whether whatever type of bird that it is sometimes i don't have it but i have it today and i definitely prefer to use rosemary when you're making a bird all right just chop it up fine as you can okay and then we'll throw that in there you go. Mm -hmm. Woo, that smells so good. All right. Put that right on in there. Now we're, ooh, I'm so excited for this. All right, there we go. Now, next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to put some oil in here, okay? And then let me get my rubber spatula wherever it is. That's my oven beeping, letting me know that it's preheated to 350 degrees. And make sure you put that salt in there, guys, with this garlic. Here is our herb oil, okay? This right here, I wish you all could smell this right now. Oh my goodness. This is what you need. All right, perfect. Mm-hmm. All right, so now we have our oil. Set that oil aside. All right, now let me show you our pan. I got the two stalks of celery, and I'm going to put a bird on two stalks of celery each. Okay, I'm going to put a bird here, a bird there. All right, just like so. So then, let me get my birds and put them here. And the, well, actually, actually, change of plans. I'm going to go ahead and season my birds while they're here. Okay. So give me one second, everybody. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, let's get started. We're going to go ahead and take this herb oil. We're going to take one bird a piece. I, don't, I hope you all can see my herb oil over here. And we're just going to rub it just like so. See that? Just rub that oil all over. And what this oil will do is it will flavor it and it will also, see how I'm putting it down in that cavity? It'll also help to uh, brown up this bird the way that we want that golden brown color. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. See that? And get some down in that cavity. Rub it in there. Just like this, guys. All right. Okay, there's one. We'll just set him there for the time being. Okay, let's do each one, get that herb oil on, and then I'll show you on this one how to go up under the skin to put flavor under there. We'll do that right now. See, if you can see, my fingers are going underneath the skin. It's very easy to loosen up the skin with your fingers, just like so, just like that. Nothing hard. And then you put that oil in there. And that makes it so nice and tender. You hear me? It makes that breast really tender. And get your flavors down in there, guys. Look at that. All right? Get the wings. Get in the crevices of the legs and the thighs. And get the back. Absolutely. Okay? So I'm going to continue to do this. I'm going to put the video on pause. And then I'll come back. And I'm going to show you how to do our other um spices all right i'm gonna go up under each one of these skins just like i showed you all right get that under there if you want it to you can put a pad or two of butter all right get this one oh absolutely oh, this smells so good that garlic with these herbs it smells delicious you hear me Woo. This reminds me of making garlic bread. <laughs> the smells, actually. All right. There we go. Get up under that skin. Put you some flavor in there. Mm-hmm. And don't forget the back, guys. Because that back has that thigh meat, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's that. I'll be right back, everyone. 
Okay, everyone, I have our birds here on the cutting board, and here's what I like to do. I have four slices of lime, and no, this is not going to make it taste like lime. This is going to give it some good flavor. I'm going to put a slice of lime in each cavity, all right? It's going to give it some good flavor. Put it right in there, okay? Right there where the legs are, put that in there, okay? And then we're going to go in with seasonings, all right? So then we're going to use some ground sage, just very lightly, very lightly. Okay, season each one, all right? And then you wanna get down, let me show you. You wanna get down in that cavity, get your spices down in there, guys. Get the back, see this? Oh yeah, all right, just like so. All right, get you some sage down in there, a little bit on the back, all right? Get that back, all right? Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of salt, okay? And this is sea salt, put you some in that cavity. All right, not too much, okay? Because we have other seasonings, all right? A little bit of salt on the top. All right, now we're gonna go in with garlic powder on the top and in the inside also. All right, you gotta have garlic powder. Even though we have that fresh garlic clove, you still want you some garlic powder in there. Get it down in there, guys. Get that flavor down in there. So when you eat this, you can taste all of those beautiful flavors. Don't be afraid to season up things like I like to tell you all. This is onion powder. Um, only one you have to be worried about is salt. All right, get these bad boys seasoned up. All right, and now I'm gonna use just a little tiny bit of Maggi Pollo. I'm not gonna do the outside, but I'm gonna shake a little bit in the inside, all right? Just like this. Not too much, guys. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, and now for my Sazon. You all know me, you know that I love me some Sazon, guys. All right, and the first thing that I like to do is shake some in the cavity, and then we'll put some on the top, all right? Shake some in the cavity, put some on the top, all right? Just like so. I'm gonna get this other packet and do the same. And now this Sazon will make it such a beautiful color. I'm not gonna trust the legs. I'm not gonna tie the legs together, okay? I never do, honestly, and it's just fine. It. There we go, beautiful. Get that foot seasoned down in there, guys, and get those legs, and don't forget about your wings, all right? And then I'm getting ready to show you something to do with, with your wings, okay? What I want to do is kind of rub that sazon in just a little bit, okay? Just like, just like so, all right? Oh yeah, now watch this guys. You see these wings that are kind of flapping all over the place? We're gonna take them and bend them back behind, all right? So that they don't get burned and they're not in the way. And so if we turn it behind us, I'll show you what it looks like, see that? So you just pin them back there. I'll show you one more. Just kind of tuck it back there and it's out of your way. It won't get burned and it's out the way, okay? So then, here's what I'm gonna do. I have a little bit of herb oil left. I'm gonna continue to push these arms back or wings back, <laughs> all right? And I'm gonna rub some more of that oil in on these beautiful birds. All right, and then these go in the oven on 350 degrees, and what I'll do, I'll let you all know, I'm putting some more herb oil on, okay? I'm gonna let you all know how long it cooked, all right? Look at this. Get you some more herb oil on there. Isn't it beautiful? Gosh, this oil makes it so tasty, guys. Oh my goodness. And that garlic we put on there, woo! You guys better trust me. <laughs> you make this for your loved one. Make it for your family, your kids. Make it for your neighbor, hey. You can even make it for your coworker, guys. There's so many options. <laughs> I'm sure if you make it, they'll eat it. Okay, so now here's what's gonna happen. I'm washing my hands very well. And I've cleaned my sink up. When I have my video on pause, I clean my sink up. 
I have to guys. I cannot work in a messy kitchen at all. When I'm cooking, I have to clean up as I go. You guys cannot cook with me if you don't clean up as you go. <laughs> you know, I'll be honest with you guys. My husband, he doesn't, he can't cook, but he can make the best eggs in town. You hear me? But when he makes eggs, guys, oh my gosh, they're so good. Like I said, they're the best eggs you ever want to taste but he does not clean up after himself when he's cooking. Now he cleans the house all the time, but when he's cooking, he makes a disaster in the kitchen. And so while I'm eating the eggs, I'm like, oh my gosh, these are the best eggs ever, right? This is what I'm thinking in my head. But then the whole time I'm worrying about how messy he made my kitchen. <laughs> and I just wanna hurry up and eat so that I can clean up his mess in the kitchen. <laughs> kitchen <laughs> but he can make some eggs guys oh my goodness all right so now check this out these birds are going right in here let me show you my sink that I cleaned up see that you have to guys all right so now birds are going and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna put this up to the camera look at this guys it's like it's, it's ready already right so now put it right there on top of the celery okay and I might have to I think I might have to rearrange my celery so it can set in there a little better and I think I'll do it this way oh that's beautiful okay so it looks like I need to turn it there we go get them in and and they're gonna sit on two stalks of celery so they don't have to sit in their juices okay isn't that a wonderful idea I'm gonna put the other two in and I'll be right back okay everyone I'm back now here's what we're gonna do we have our chickens sitting on the celery all right I'm gonna take just a little let's see I'm gonna show you just about this much okay of rosemary I'm just gonna put it right down in that bottom of that pan okay and now, our chicken broth, we're gonna put some in here. Put it right down in there, all right? I like to put about, how much? Just a little over a half. Well, let's go ahead and put the whole thing in. Put it right dab in there, all right? My oven's on 350. Let's get this in the oven. And I will be back after it cooks. And when after it cooks, I'll let you know exactly how long it cooked in the oven. I'll be right back, everyone. Okay, everyone, I wanted you to know they're in the oven, but they're on the middle rack. Don't put them on the bottom rack. Don't put them on the top rack. Right there in the middle. When these are done, I'll come back. Okay, everybody, check it out. Hold on, let me turn my music off, guys. Be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I had to turn my music off. Check it out, guys, seriously. Cornish Hens 101. If you never had any, guys, make you some. Here's a great recipe for you. Look at this. Would you just look at this? And then at the bottom, you have some beautiful broth, right? And I'm just grabbing a fork or a spoon and what you can do now during the cooking process two times I went and I took this beautiful broth and I put it right over top of this bird just like this okay and what that does is it helps to brown up your bird the way you want and it gives it some flavor guys right okay see that there isn't that beautiful this right here is what a lot of people crave for the holidays. A lot of people are making Cornish hen for the holidays. And now what you can do is if you have six guests, hey, make six of them. Each one can have their own individual bird. Like my nine-year-old, I'm not sure. I'm going to give him the smallest one over here, and we'll see how much of it he eats. And the rest, if he doesn't eat the rest, we'll just save it for him later. But we're all going to eat our own tonight. 
Yes, we are. I got some macaroni on the side, macaroni and cheese, and some pea salad. Okay, so for all of you that don't know what a mukbang is, I'm going to do a mukbang after the video, so stay tuned. If you don't know what a mukbang is, a mukbang is where I go, you all can watch me sit down in my kitchen table, and I talk about what the food tastes like, and I talk about, uh, I just chit-chat at my table. So, if you all will give me a few minutes, I'll make my plate. I want to make my husband's plate plate and then I'll sit down at my table and do the mukbang be right back okay everyone I'm at the dinner table look at this plate guys like seriously oh my goodness we got the pea salad I did a video for that today macaroni and cheese and our beautiful star check him out okay everybody Let's give this a try. Let me fix my camera, guys. All right, here we go. God bless this food. Thank you for feeding me another meal, another day. Amen. Here we go, guys. All right, I'm going to cut smack dab right down the breast. Now, this cooked for an hour and five minutes, uncovered on 350 degrees. All right, now. You guys are going to take this first bite right here. All right, hold on one second here. Let me get some good meat for you. Oh, man, this is so, it smells so, my house smells so good right now, everybody. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, look at this meat. Let me get some of that skin. That skin is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. All right, take this first bite right there, guys. There you go. Look at that. That's the white meat. That's the breast. Nice and juicy. Taste that right there. Oh, my goodness. I hope I don't burn my mouth, guys. Mmm. 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 That flavor right away. Oh my goodness. The Sazon. If you get a chance to get you some, get you some Sazon and try it. It's awesome. Mmm. And you can taste the lime that we use to clean and the lime that we stuff down in that cavity. And also, this is the real, this is this right here. When you make that herb oil, guys, that herb oil takes this to another level. Trust me when I tell you this. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to try a little bit of my macaroni. Mm, mm -hmm. Who doesn't love macaroni, right? Taste that bite right there. Taste that bite right there. There you go. Mm, 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 mm. So good. I'm going to get a little bit of this pea salad. There you go. Mmm. If you all hear some noise in the background, my kids are literally sitting on the kitchen floor. They're carving two pumpkins to put on the front porch. Normally, I will... Uh, draw the picture on the pumpkin and cut it out but I have my oldest son cutting it out and drawing the pictures for Dakota my nine-year-old <laughs> and you might can hear him <laughs> oh my gosh you might can hear him laughing in the background <laughs> but gosh I can't believe I'm cracking up like this so I left and then I came back and then like my son has never carved it <laughs> I come back and I look at the pumpkin <laughs> and where I can't stop laughing guys and where the teeth are supposed to be, so he was going to make these little teeny tiny eyes, right? That kind of went like this. This little teeny nose. And then he's going to make like this huge mouth, right? That had, you know, the triangle, like maybe two fangs down here and two here. 
And then, so I walk away and I come back and my son is, my son's like, oh, look at this, right? And I'm like, wait, you cut the tooth out. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm trying to show him, I'm like, okay, so what you do? Nobody will never know that you cut the tooth out. Let's just cut it, right? And leave the other tooth at the top and the two at the bottom. Well, he's like, oh, okay, yeah, I get it, I understand. So then he gets to the other side, and he's like, I cut the tooth off. I'm like, what are you doing? So then I'm, I'm finishing um, up the food, and he tells my nine-year-old, he says, well, it looks like he's just going to have two bottom teeth. And I was just laughing inside, like, what is going on? What are these pumpkins going to look like, guys? So... We'll see what they turn out to look like. I'm gonna taste this food. I'm gonna taste this food, guys. We will see what the pumpkins turn out to look like. Mm. I'm going in. Oh my gosh. This right here, look at that meat, guys. Look how beautiful and white it is. It's so moist, look at this. Mmm, mmm. Mm -mm. Make sure you use that herb oil. That herb oil, that herb oil, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Because I can taste every herb that I put in that oil. And make sure you take your time to put your fingers up under that skin and get that oil and those herbs up under there. It really makes a difference. This right here, if you want, if you... Um, are only if it's just you for Thanksgiving and you still want something to eat make you one of these one or two of these mm, It's stress-free you just season them and throw them in the oven and let them go mm. This right here This is good eating guys you hear me mm, mm, mm. Boy that's good Mm -mm. And the skin, the skin is so crispy and so flavorful. Look at that, guys. Bite that skin right there. A lot of people like skin. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know why my hand's shaking. Mmm. Boy, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. That tarragon. That mm, use tarragon when you make this, guys. Mmm, 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 mmm. <clears throat> if you all enjoyed this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome videos. Mmm, 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 mmm. Woo, that's good. So tender. Oh my gosh. Mm, 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 mm. So good. You know what? Honestly, I don't buy these a lot. And I wanted to do the recipe because a lot of you requested this for the holidays. And so... I, I'm making it, but what I will do, I'm going to start making this more often because it's so easy and so tasty. Oh, man. All right, I'm going back in on this side. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh, this is so good, guys. Mmm. 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 Let me get some of this pea salad. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. Delicious. Mmm. 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 All you got to do is make you, if you have this, make you some dressing on the side. 
open you a can of green beans. Hey, you got Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. I want to try one of the legs. Mm, that's delicious. Oh, yeah, let me pull that. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's try this dark meat here, guys. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, my goodness. Right off the bone. Look at this. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. 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 Boy, that's delicious. So juicy. And now... Some of you might say, Gina, how come you didn't trust the legs? You don't have to tie the legs together in order for it to stay juicy. Some people think that, um, you know, you have to tie the legs together. You don't. It does keep it, you know, more compact and make it look a little better. But, hey, I never had a dry Cornish hen, turkey, or chicken without trusting the legs. I promise you guys, trust me when I tell you that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And the Sazon, the Sazon makes it so pretty. Look at that color. Isn't it beautiful? Mm. That was a piece of the skin. Mm hmm. All right, let's see. Look at this, guys. Mm hmm. Mm. so delicious. I wish you all a good night. I wish you all a great weekend. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So good. I kind of devoured this, guys. Mm. You know what? If I wasn't on camera, I'd be able to get in there a little bit more. Mmm, so good. And as always, God bless. Have a great night. And thank you all for watching. Good night. Okay, everybody, I wanted to show you. Am I on the picture, Tariq? Mm -hmm. I wanted to show you. Here's the... The pumpkins, guys. Can you see it? Mm -hmm.